So we're getting ready to stage our coup in France. I think it's going to be successful. Obviously, it's going to cost us a lot of infantry equipment, but I think we'll be okay. I mean, I think that uh, so far, our boosting of the uh, Communist Party in France, obviously, has been super successful. So we'll see how that goes. Let's actually check on logistics. Uh, I had no idea that I'm going to have to donate, pretty much donate some equipment over, which actually, I, I, I that should have been, I don't know why I didn't think that, Drew. Come on. Crack Lord doesn't understand the way the world works sometimes. Uh, okay, so we're still really far behind infantry equipment. Everything else we're doing amazing, so I might just pull back some of this stuff. I also might want to consider training my units, training my, div training my divisions, which will cost me uh, equipment. I mean, things are going to break while training, but it's going to help them gain experience. Uh, I don't know, it's still pretty early to be training. It's only, it's still 1936. So, um, let's not. Let's not, Drew. And, uh, I'm gonna start to switch. We're gonna start to build way more here. I Do I have two more anyways? What would I pull back on? Motorized, I am guess? Here, I'll pull this, and I'll pull this. And, um, and then let's, let's focus on getting this all the way up there. So that should become pretty efficient at some point. Uh, especially if we're gonna have to donate this stuff over to France and that's gonna be a problem. I don't think we have the option of training actually. Uh, I'm so behind in the amount of equipment that I actually need. When I send over to, to coup France, we're gonna be even further behind. So that's that's scary. But luckily those military factories should be pretty efficient at some, uh, pretty soon I'm thinking. Okay, construction, how are we doing? Uh, I think I would like an additional civilian factory maybe here. Uh, there is a policy in the National Focus Tree that will take your factories from the Eastern European front and send them out towards Siberia. Uh, that is that, that way, obviously, they don't fall to Germany or any invading country. Uh, that is a really good idea. I'm not sure what's going to happen if I just am building them outside of Moscow. I don't think these are the ones that get taken over there. I think it's these two, five, two, two. Uh, but you get, I think, even more I think you get more slots back in uh, uh, Eastern Soviet Union territory. Oh, what happened here? British Parliament debates uh, intervention in uh, that place. I'm not going to try to pronounce it because I'm going to get so much hate and I know I'm not going to be able to deliver the pronunciation there. Uh, okay, so having learned from the Great War, the British will not... Oh, this... Oh, the British are aggressive. Will not underestimate the strength value uh, of the... Maybe I'll just try it. Benilux, Benilux region, and the potential risks of seeing enemy countries build influence there. Uh, the British Parliament has debated the possibility of a military intervention. Ooh. Of such actions weighed heavily on Neville Chamberlain. Okay. Okay, so such the intervention would... Oh, interesting. So we'll have to see what happens there. Uh, I have no idea exactly what that means. I don't know what that means at all. I don't know if it's because of... I, I'm hoping that... I'm, I'm guessing that's just assuming that Germany's growing power and, and never, Neville Chamberlain is, is thinking he doesn't like it. So, that makes sense. Because we have to hire another political advisor. There was a few more that I also liked in here. Um, national unity, extra 15%. That is amazing because I don't know when we're going to get that national unity up. Uh, ideological Crusader. What is this going to mean... Uh, same ideology opinion. Same ideology. No, not yet. Yeah, no, I, I'm okay. Not yet. Construction speed. Oh, I love it. Cap oh, yes. Captain of industry. Let's probably consider doing that. Trade deal option. Nope, don't care about that. Uh, effects partisan. Submersive activities. Nope, don't care about that. I don't care about any sort of democracy or fascist demagogue. This is how we would probably get... Um, this is how we kind of can convert our nation over towards a certain ideology, but as the Soviet Union, we're not going to want to do that. Definitely this uh, captain of industry. That would be amazing to build things faster. Uh, actually, what else can we build? We're going to want to build fronts, uh, forts. I'm sorry, fronts. Forts, yeah, forts on our front. Uh, that will be pretty important. More naval dock, dockyards will be kind of crucial too. And synthetic, uh, synthetic oil experiments pretty important but we don't need the resources we're fine oil right wise oh but we could use more rubber right it's rubber that we need oh my gosh stop okay yeah so we do need rubber so those synthetic oil refineries would be uh, excellent 
Okay, so obviously we're going to be going after more political power. And this is also going to give us, oh man, more national unity. So we can really get it up in multiple ways. I like it. I, I, I'd like to stay away from the Great Purge if I can. I know that I won't be able to stay away from it for that long because that will give us access to nukes. And uh, nukes are pretty important to me. Uh, however, you know, I just, uh, I, I really don't like those increased technology times that it, that, it, that it shows me. Really don't like that. Okay, Japan, what you doing? You feeling good about me, right, Japan? Spiritual mobilization. Yeah. Yeah, you're off in your own worlds, Japan. You're doing all this stuff over here. That's that's fine. That's great. Okay, that's that's perfect. He, he hasn't even... I mean, he hasn't chosen to go to war with China yet either, though. If he goes to war with China, he's almost guaranteed... Well, first of all, it's going to keep us safer. But he's less likely to come after us. Now, surprisingly, China has... They're not aligned. We could try to boost party popularity in China. Uh, and we might have actually quite a bit of luck if we do decide to do that. 44% in France. Yeah, so I don't think I want to stage a coup. It's not gonna it's not gonna happen. So I am going to cancel this. Now getting China on my side would be interesting. Oh, and we have the uh, the games concluded. We've got the first Olympic Games. Who won? German athletes. Okay, winning 33, Americans winning 24. Wait, what? Were we not there or something? Don't tell me we didn't win any golds. How? How is that possible? Yeah, I think I might want to kind of boost. Let me let me wait. Let me wait for that. I don't want to make a choice just yet because I'd like to fill out my like government and law and get all those advisors in there. Although we don't need as many military advisors. Uh, how are we looking now in terms of uh, production? Okay, so we're we're running efficiently. We're about to run really efficient uh, efficiently soon, which means that we're yeah we're going to be making a, a much bigger dent into our. Uh, infantry equipment the lack of our infantry equipment that we have and getting extra you know getting extra equipment here is is good although although we're going to be upgrading this stuff we do need to keep that in mind that as the years goes by years go by we're going to get better things and uh this old equipment is not going to be as useful when we get like newer technologies and things like that uh we can also deploy these units, even without equipment or even without all the complete training, um, obviously we don't need to do that, but that's just something op an option that we can do. Uh, I also want to do high reinforcement priority. I want to make sure that we prioritize reinforcements instead of anything else. And we don't really need to work on like tank divisions or paratroopers right now. Things like that will come later with technology. When we have more technologies discovered and things like that. I cannot wait for that fourth technology slot. That's going to make these things a lot easier uh, a lot lot easier okay now my next thing is to look at what Germany is thinking industrial effort okay so they're really w focused on maybe moving down towards rocketry oh okay here we go Spanish Civil War so uh, do I care either way I I don't think it matters to me as the Soviets like if we we're playing as Germany then yeah we have a we have a dog in the race I guess, as they say, but uh, I don't think it matters to us. So, yeah, we've got fascists, and uh, oh, actually, oh, wait, what? What? No, th this totally matters to us. I totally forgot the Republic of Spain was uh, so high in, in communists. Uh, so can I... Yes, I can send volunteer volunteers. We're going to want to do that. We are going to want to do that. Okay. So, do I have to send all of these, or can I just send some? You need to select one or more armies to send. Uh, you have zero divisions as volunteer forces, and your maximum total limit is five. Okay. So, five. So, we can send some of the divisions along the eastern front anyways. We'll remove them from the map while in transition, and we'll return. Okay. Why can I only send five? We'll generate zero percent threat. Oh, that's good. Limited by their province... by their provinces. Uh, we'll generate 50... Whoa! Okay, so we're going to want to create a separate... Yeah, you've selected more than 100. Yeah. Then I can. I see. Deselect some. And I can't select these either, right? Okay, so we're going to want to set... We're going to want to create uh, an individual division. Or I guess a division of a new army. Let's see here. What are these guys? So you can probably just take these. I mean, this is... 
This is 20, though. Well, actually, how many is this? If I go here, that's still too many. Okay, let me cancel that. We're going to have to redo all this. All units from this army will be... Well, I, I think... Jeez, why is... You know what? I'll select these guys. That would be much better. Here, let me cancel this. Be sure you want to remove the army. Yes. Move the army. Send them back too, man. Here, come back here. Do they automatically get sent back? There you go. There you go. Boom. And make sure you just front the... Yeah, line this front here. Uh, yeah, I think the best situation would be just to get like... One, two, three, four, five. These guys... Create a new army. And uh, do we have to give them a commander? I guess I can send you over with the commander. That's fine. Oh, whoops. There you go. And now we should be able to support the party. Or support, yeah, send volunteers. Send lend lease. We can support other countries uh, being at war by sending them equipment. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that too. Yeah, we're going to want to do that too. So, boom, you can have these guys. You have zero divisions as volunteer forces, and your maximum total limit is five. So, technically, I think we could send more. No, 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 no. We, it's only five. It's only five. Yes, I, I get it now. Uh, how much now? What do I want to do? Except not required. I don't really want to send over infantry equipment because I'm already going to need that for the French Civil War that is, is looming in the background. If you need support... I can send over support, motorized, and, and uh, artillery because I've got a bunch of this anyways. Uh, I can send over quite a bit. I mean, I can send over like 100. No current Lend-Lease. Three of three. Yeah, I don't want to send over infantry equipment. And I don't know how much extra I have of this stuff. But I can send you over all this. 10 of 10. Needed convoys. Okay, that's fine. I think I am. Republic of Spain has accepted. Okay, good. So take all that stuff and win the war. <laughs> take it all and win the war. Please win the war. I don't know how much. Now, Germany is also going to be doing the same thing. They will be supporting them. More than likely, Germany or Italy, I believe. Uh, I can modify this. I can also do a non-aggression pact. I guess we can go ahead and send that over too. Okay. Unfortunately, I will not have vision on what's going on inside of uh, Spain. Oh, I've got military factories. Nice. How am I doing logistically now that I'm sending over all those? Yeah, I'm. I'm fine. I'm okay. We need more planes, though. That's why. That's. I, I kind of want to focus uh, my military factories now on the planes because we're just not. We're not producing like any. Which I have no rubber anyway. So I mean, that's. I mean, we can still produce these things without the rubber resource. It's just going to take a little bit longer. Okay, so I only have one military factory. There you go. Work on the bombers. That'll be nice. And this notification is just going to show us the volunteer forces and transfer. Uh, when are they going to get there? 28th of September. Okay, so in eight days, they'll be there fighting. And I think we actually should get vision when, when the divisions actually get there. I'm hoping that we do. Okay, so this is important. I'm so glad that I checked. I don't know why. I, I just completely forgot because Nationalist Spain always wins usually or not always wins. But when I started in the 1939 start, it's Nationalist Spain there. So I just totally blanked on the Republic of Spain. Pocket defense. Okay, nice. Okay, so we, we grab this. Uh, I think I want to just continue down defense because I'll, I'll work on like you know more actual uh technologies for my infantry and for my support battalions things like that when we get that fourth research uh slot for right now i want to focus on the big stuff and this is the big stuff organization uh and mac uh, max entrenchment let's go ahead and do that 264 days holy crap that's quite a long time yes yeah, so let's go ahead and do that and uh when is my we're finishing up this so i am forced to go down obviously I, I chose the collective propaganda. We're, we're pretty much forced because this is mutually exclusive. Uh, I, and I can't wait this long. I'm not going to wait this long for the extra research slot. And, uh, yeah, I, I don't want to... I mean, this is going to give us pretty much a lot of military bonuses, which is obviously important. Uh, recruitable population, which would be nice, obviously. Research time, negative 5%. That is helpful. But, uh, 
I want to increase. This is also going to help out my infrastructure as well. Going down this route. Oh, I'm sorry. Military schools, workers. This is what I'm talking about. Construction speed. New Soviet man. Um, allows for uh, kamikaze strikes, air missions, suicide attacks. Nice. Uh, that's cool. I didn't know that uh, the Soviets could do that as well. I knew that the Japanese could do that, but not the Soviets. So that's pretty fun. Okay, so we've made it there. We've made it in Valencia. Okay, so we do have vision. Now, how's this looking? And how can we help them? How do you want more? Do you want more or what? <laughs> do you need more equipment? Is there a way for me to tell? Yeah, there is a way for me to tell if Germany is supporting them. Yep, there they are. So Germany is sent. They, they did send over forces. Target of foreign wars. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, and they're not going to like me. Well, actually, they, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Uh, let me check on France. France, how you doing, baby? France, you're at 46%. I'm going to wait for 50, and then we're going to start to stage that coup. And, and as well as, you know, I've got, I'm setting over this equipment anyway, so it's fine. Um, yeah, so the Communist Party never really took off there. That was, that was going to be difficult no matter what. Now, if Spain falls to call it communism, if we can get Republic of Spain to win this, as well as nationalists, I'm sorry, as well as France, boom, you're talking about, you know, having control over Western Europe. I mean, not control, but we're going to have... Spain is not as big of... This is kind of a minor country to have on our side. Uh, France is huge, though, getting a great power like that, converting over. Okay, nice. So we did get collectivist uh, propaganda. And uh, now let's go for the research slot, baby. There we go. And I might start to jump into that anti-capitalist sort of uh, sort of tree. But I don't know. Again, I don't know what the AI is going to be doing at the same time. If the Germans start to you know get aggressive with me, then... I don't know. I might have to switch my switch my mindset a little bit. Um, okay, so efforts of partisans on us, foreign. Oh, I don't know what this stuff means. Not smooth talker. Trade deal opinion. No, don't care about trade. Definitely national unity. That would be nice. An extra opinion. This would be good eventually, but um. But at this point, oh, I can't even go for this guy. Oh, okay. Let's go with this guy. Foreign subvers. I don't know what this is going to do, but it sounds good. It sounds good, so let's just get it. I don't, I don't know what that does, but it sounds like it's going to be cool. It sounds like it's going to be fun. Let's just grab that and, and see what happens. Manpower not that high for the Soviet Union, but don't worry about that. That's going to drastically shift as we approach uh, the coming years. Okay. So far, I mean, they've grabbed an extra... Oh, they lost here, though. I, I wish I could see the, the combat. I wish I could see the battles. I mean, I have a huge stake in this, so I should be able to see... I mean, I need more intel. I know that intel's a thing, but because I'm sending over equipment, and actually it, because I have my own divisions uh, there, that's why I should get, like, I don't know, something like per month, some sort of uh, update per month, I don't know, or per day on how, how it's going. Anyways, guys, I'm going to stop right there. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.